Hi! Let's see how to visualize and plan projects effortlessly with our unique Gantt chart with dependencies template. Project Setup Click on the Configs button at the top of the sheet. This opens up the configuration settings. Review and update values of project configurations, including Project start date Project timeline duration Weekend mode Whether to show weekend Gantt chart labeling option And list of holidays Once you're satisfied Click Save Configs to apply these configurations and return to the project view. Adding and editing a task. Double-click on a cell below the task column. An input form will appear on your screen. Ensure task is selected in the Type drop-down and type in the task summary. Click on the Start Date button and select the start date from the timeline. Then click OK. Enter a number for the Net Workdays field. Then the finish date will be automatically calculated. Alternatively, click the Finish Date button and select the finish date from the timeline. Then the Net Workdays will be automatically calculated. You can choose to enter the percentage complete now or come back to update it later. You also have the option to customize the chart color using the color options buttons in the bottom left corner. Click the save button and your task is now created. To edit a task, double click on the cell below the task column that corresponds to the task you wish to edit. Creating a task dependency. Click on the Gantt bar representing your predecessor task. Next, click on the Gantt bar representing your dependent task. Choose the desired link type and click Save. A task dependency will get created. To delete a dependency link, simply double-click on the dependency line and confirm the deletion. If you selected a Gantt bar or a dependency line by mistake and want to deselect it, simply click on any cell. Note also, a red dependency link indicates a schedule conflict between the predecessor and its dependent task. Watch for these cues so that you can adjust the tasks accordingly. Creating a milestone Double-click on an empty cell below the task column to open an input form. Select Milestone in the Type drop-down. Then enter the summary, and pick a start date. Finally, click Save to create a milestone. Creating a group. Double-click on a cell below the task column to open an input form. Choose Group from the Type drop-down. Enter a group summary, then click Save. The items in contiguous cells under this group will be treated as the group's children. To fold or unfold a group, Double click on the triangle icon on its left. To fold, unfold multiple groups at once, select the top left corner cell, click the drop down icon, and choose the desired option. Creating sub level group and item. Double click on a blank cell and create a new group. In this example, let's call this group 1. Double click on a blank cell below group 1, create another group. Let's call this group 
Click the Increase Indent button to set Group 1.1 as a Level 2 group. Double click on a blank cell below Group 1.1, then create a task. This task is automatically set as a Level 2 item, and as a child to Group 1.1. To fold or unfold a group, double click on the triangle icon on its left. To fold or unfold all groups at certain level, select the top left corner cell, click the drop down icon, and choose the desired option. Moving deleting, or inserting a row. Click on an item cell under the task column. Click at the Move Up or Move Down button on the right of the item to move it up or down the list. Use the Insert button to insert a new row below the selected cell. Use the Delete button to delete the selected item. Note that when the item you're deleting is a group, you will be asked if you want to delete its children as well. Switching views To show or hide item details, click at the Toggle Details button. To switch between daily, weekly, and quarterly views, click at the Day, Week, Quarter button. Baselining project schedule. Let's see how you can set a project baseline as a snapshot of your original schedule. So that as you adjust the schedule during execution phase, you can see how the project is doing compared to the original schedule. Once you have the original schedule ready, click at the baseline tools button. The baseline tools form will appear on your screen. On the left half of the form with the title baseline, activate the show option. Under the section Set Baseline for, click All, then click Yes. The baseline bar in light gray color will appear beneath each of the Gantt chart bar. And as the project proceeds and the schedule get adjusted, you can easily compare it against the original schedule in gray bars. To hide the baseline bars, open the Baseline Tools form and uncheck the Show option. To delete the baseline, open the Baseline Tools form, and under the section Clear Baseline for, click at the All button, then click Yes. If you need to set or update a baseline for specific items, first make sure to highlight the targeted items below the task column. Open the Baseline Tools form, and under the section Set Baseline for, click at the Selected Items button. Then click Yes. Rescheduling multiple items. Select the targeted items below the task column then click at the Rescheduler button. Enter number of days, for example, 7, to shift selected items to the right for 7 days. To shift dates to the left, enter a negative number, 